just that. There's a lot of things that come with depression. It's unforgiveness. It's parimos. That you don't even know where it's coming from. It's just there. If we could go to the first slide, please. Kakalatrin divanuria. Why do I go through depression? Why am I still in depression? And the last one, how do I get out of depression? Ariad, we are going to ask, go ahead. We're going to ask, why is it do I fear? Why is it that I am in depression? Why do I have anxiety? Why do I worry all the time? Why am I stressed? Why seem panic? Why? Why am I, as a Christian woman or a man of God, so star seem andekako depression when I'm supposed to be freed? I'm supposed to live in victory. Why do I feel like I'm living in failure? Why? So that we have all these problems going through our life. Abu Douglas, I'm not really depressed. Okay, but do you have fear? No, I don't have fear. Well, let's see. Do you pray before you make a decision? Or you make a decision on your own? Most of the times, we make our own decisions. We don't wait on God. If we wait on God, some of the decisions are still in water. But Nietzsche, we all mess up. We all fail. So start because we have fear. Fear of trusting God. Fear of depending on the Holy Spirit. Let me holy. And then we start to argue. Apu, you're not making money. Apu, vitu chisan kanche. Now you have a problem on the tzera. All about finances. Now velo parimot. Now you feel worthless. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? These are steps. These are steps. And I want to reveal to you. Go ahead. I want to reveal to you. What are these steps that we see even before we get to them? Maybe you didn't realize you took the first step. I got go step, see, let me be on this side. The first step as a Christian is this. I don't believe in God. Hard it to trust the Lord. Because homesan, we have to pay our bills. So I take the step of doubt. Now my relationship with God is not really that good because I doubt. Oh, I believe in God. I just don't trust Him enough. And so, I have my anxiety and I take the step of fear now. And the anxiety, I have a holy. Apopale, what they want from me? Apoaraktu i kris, apoaraktu. You're fear, you're scared about everything. Now you take the step of anger. Now you're angry. And you're angry at everyone. Konik night to kill show. Everybody is trying to get you. Everybody wants to use you. And so now from anger, now you're in depression. These are just a few steps. Are you hearing me, church? And we all go through this. Glory goes to God that we could understand, that we could relate to it. Yeah, I, I, I took one of those steps in my life, Douglas. Yeah, I think I took two of them so far. Well, Ariad, I want to give you some good insight on how to step back into God's presence. Let's go to our first scripture. Romans 5.3 We can 
can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they help us what? Can everybody say it loud? Endurance. And endurance develops strength. And strength of character and character strength strengthens our confident hope of salvation. Now, Tom Sama, these are steps. These are steps. Just like I showed you a step and step and step until we get into depression. So, Dixo C, I want you to look at these words and then we're going to look at the opposite of each word. Go ahead. Endurance. What's the opposite of endurance? To give up. Strength. What's the opposite of strength? Weak. Character. You could have either good character or a bad character. To be confident. The opposite is to be negative. To have hope. The opposite. It's to be to have doubt. These are steps either to grow in God or to fall into depression. Now, what about Kotei uses a word develop? You could develop endurance, strength, good character, confidence, and hope. Or you could develop to give up, to be weak, to have a bad character, to be negative, and to doubt. You could be very good at doubting God. You could be very good on giving up all the time. As soon as things get hard, all right, that's it. I got to stop. It's not working out for me to be a good Christian. I can't do it. I can't do it, Lord. Long sin. Sorry. You give up. Just kadya. Odivano develop means to build up or expand, to make stronger or more effective, strengthen, to bring into reality, baro divano kado, to cause to unfold or evolve, to make more available or extensive. I want to look at the word. Number three, to bring into reality. Is it hot in here, church? Could, could we turn on the air? Angelo, when you can, please. Is it? You're right under the air conditioner. <laughs> okay. To bring into reality. Okay, this is what happens in depression. I finished a whole course regarding church counseling. The book was Kadya. I read it, I studied it. I pen in on the book, Les Gages, psychologists, pen in that there's people that are in depression and they're so bad in depression that they believe that that's the way they need to be for the rest of their life. There's no way out. And sometimes we don't even know it's depression. What we say is, I'm in homesome. This is the way we're going to live for the rest of our life. And that's no other thing we could do. We don't realize that that's actually depression. You took steps that brought fear, doubt. I fate, I use diala. And so your reality is a lie. Amaro reality is a lie. Why? Because we took these steps that I just showed you. What's the opposite? Could we go back to that? Or are we there, right? Give up, weak, bad, negative, and doubt. 
This is what we developed. We developed it. If you're a new Christian, then it's a lot easier for you to walk away from it. But Kanasan Puro Christian, and you develop after so long to give up, to be weak, to have a bad character, to be negative and to doubt, it's normal. Every Christian is like that. Now, it's weird. It's weird when people have faith. He's a fanatic, a raktulist. We don't even see the difference anymore. It's kodo. A good Christian is kind of weird. Manai normal. A normal Christian is a Christian that compromises. No big deal, nobody jela. And so we fell into this development of doing the opposite of what God tells us to be. God is telling us develop endurance, strength, character, confidence, and hope. So this is the reality that we're bringing. Apo, this is my Christianity, Douglas. I live any way I want on the Lumia, and the two hours once a week that I come to church, well, that's my Christianity. I'm a Christian once a week for two hours, and that's it. Yertin mamir. But as your pastor, I cannot allow that to be correct. Naiwarta. It is not right. A Christian has a lifestyle. And that lifestyle is Jesus all the way around. Amen? Now, look at what the, what the Word says on 1 John 4.18. Such love has no what? Go ahead, guys. Okay. Is anybody up there? Such love has no fear because perfect love, what? Expels all fear. The Chuta Sikako Divano Church. Odel sude, so go the fear that's in our lives when we know His love. When we know His love, that's the secret. It's not meras katar odel daratar that He's going to send us to hell, and that's why we're Christian. No, you're a Christian because we've seen His love. We stay in Christianity because we experience His love. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced perfect love. Amazing. Psalms 119, 143. As pressure and stress bears down on me, I find joy in your commands. When pressure and stress Church, please show me with your hands. Are you going from pressure? Do you have stress in your life? Then this is what the Word of God says. Read the Word. Read the Word. And that brings joy. That brings joy. 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your what? on Him because He cares for you. You know what it means to cast? It means you gotta let go. You have to let go. We, we can't do this. Here you go, Lord. Here you go. Take it from me, Lord. No, we have to throw it to God. We have to put it and leave it there at His feet. Isaiah 41.10 Don't what? I am with you. There is no need to fear, for I am your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. Keep a firm grip on you. This is what God does. Warning karel to tut. Now tut, through boosting karel the legs, and not let go. 
Sai dăm le zbărimo. Go ahead. But here's the problem. I have a lot of anxiety, fear, stress, depression because of everything that I go through. Every day of my life, farke my life is all about being depressed. Farke my life is all about having fear. I'm scared about everything. Apoya, I don't have a license when I drive a car mer of darata. Kana di kamla krisa and I don't have insurance mer of darata. There's a good reason. Right? But Karka, there's no reason for anything. This anxiety and depression is for nothing. You just developed it so much, it's part of your life. It's not that you, you can't, you won't let it go. Because you made it grow so much that it became part of your life. Psalms 143.7 Penel, come quickly, Lord, and answer me, for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me, or I will die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. The Lord just ministered to me right now and reminded me about King David. Oh, King David, he would never thought, I'm not going to go to war. I got a sergeant and a great army. I don't need to go to war. He would never think that from for staying home, that think I can out, he would fall into adultery, become a murderer, become a liar, he will never think that. But these are the steps that we take, but we don't know where it is going to take us. It will take us to destruction. We have an opportunity to give all this parimos to God. If we keep on holding on to it, it will eat you, it will destroy you, it will eventually kill you. On Klistopo TV, channel 7 or channel 11, and it said that the doctors found out that the cure for depression is to forgive. Did you guys see that on TV? I seen it. I penel le gage. Dicho little doctor talking to the patients, Penge, you're sick because you're depressed. And the reason you're depressed is because you don't forgive. You need to forgive yourself and you need to ask forgiveness from God. Amen. Now, Kakotivano, from this scripture, Psalms 40. 143.7 O Divano, depression Look what it means, go ahead It's in Hebrew So Divano see Depression means To end Be finished To perish To be consumed To cease To consume To destroy To faint To quit Go ahead. This is what Satan is using right now more than anything. And I could prove it. Drugs. Drugs. Ledraba, you think that the little pills that you're taking, the drugs that you're taking, are giving you the peace to your depression. We are replacing God with Rabbah. If I'm stepping on feet today, but God is trying to set you free. 
And God is going to speak to you through my lips right now. And God wants to tell you, you need to throw away those pills. God is going to heal you. God is going to save you. God is going to set you free. You don't need for the Latrabah. What you need is more of God. Douglas, all that sounds beautiful. Jesus, God. But you don't know my problems. You don't know what I go through. I go through hell. Plus, I got pain. 13, my back. 13, my knees. 13, my chafa. You know what? That doesn't cut it anymore. You don't need 30 pills to fix that pain. You need to get on your knees. This has to get a pain, oh Jesus Christ. Amen? Okay, but let's, let's talk reality. I've been doing drugs for a long time. It's very hard to let go. Chachimots. I just finished putting a family member and her two kids in rehab. And God is starting the work. Now I said something to my family member, Voice a day. I cannot look at Penal. You want to help your kids? Yes, I do. You seen on the airplane when the stewardess says that plastic thing? Don't put it on your kid's face, put it on yours first, and then help your kids. Do you want to know why Penalake? That happens? How could you help your kids when you're unconscious? How could you help your kids when you're on drugs? How could you help your kids, Kalasan, in another world? You can't. You can't even help yourself. God wants to start with you and then your kids. Amen? Maybe you, you're thinking, I didn't come to hear this today. I came to get healed. I don't want to feel bad about my addiction. It's not about feeling bad. It's about being set free. I just, this is only one of many, many excuses that we use so we to heal Amaro depression. So Ariat, Mangaf Tumenda, in the name of Jesus, we prayed at the altar. To them Zetino Petumende, Mary the elders. Don't let that be just for tonight. It's for every day of your life. I'm, I seen a lot of people were still sitting down and just looking. Maybe you're thinking, no, God could never do that for me. Maybe for her, maybe for him. But for me, I don't think God could do that. church. God wants to heal you completely tonight. Or it could be the process of God healing you. Go ahead. John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace. In me you will have perfect peace and confidence. In the world you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustrations. But be of good cheer. Take courage. Can everybody say take courage? Be confident, certain, undaunted, for I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of its power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Wow, wow, amazing. Go ahead, next. James 1.19, understand this, my brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen and slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. 
Asunen, look at the scripture, pay attention. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. Are we angry church? We need to put that in God's hands. Amen. Ephesians 4, 26. And don't sin by letting anger what? Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. For anger gives what? Hmm. Proverbs 14, 29. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. Somebody that's angry, they'll pull a job. But somebody that's understanding will control their anger. Do you know what they understand? The Holy Spirit leading. Go ahead. Now I'm going to ask you. Maybe you have a corner in your home. Maybe you have an office where you go in that place. And that place is the place where you start to complain. That's the place where you start to cry. That's the place where you just give up every day. I penes devla, jikana, devla. When is this going to stop? See, this is what develops suicidal thoughts. We find that place and instead of the place being a place of worship and prayer, it's a place of torment and anger. Church, we have a corner in our homes that this is what goes through sometimes. Odel Mangel te anela me but you have to be willing. Go ahead. When we bring fear, depression, anxiety, stress, worry, panic, we bring them at the feet of Jesus, at the throne of Jesus Christ. It will fade away. Then to me, before you didn't know Jesus, how long did your anger last? Months? Years? Decades? As a Christian, you get angry, but it should last maybe for a day, a week. I hope not a month. This is what God does. Please, Mangal Tumendar, not a lot of movement on the Kangari, please. I need your attention. This is why we fail as Christians. Because we, are, we develop the fruit of the flesh instead of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. That's why we mess up. That's why we're not going anywhere. That's why we're not growing. Simply because we are developing Amaro desires of the flesh. Instead, the lasame palodujo. Now, how do we get out of it? We did something, we came to the altar, we prayed. But this is what we think it is. It's like starting a diet. Yeah, I'm gonna start, Lord. I'm gonna come to the altar, I'm gonna start. That's it. I'm going to watch my way. I'm not going to eat as much. I'm going to watch myself. How long does that last? When we come to the foot of the cross, it's not making a decision as a diet. It's a life and death decision. That's how we're supposed to look at it. It's life or death. We can either live for God or die in the flesh. Are you hearing me? Go ahead. Choir, if you could come up, please. 
So church, what kind of bondage do you have right now? When you came to the altar, I told Yam Zendino Petumendi, what did you ask God to set you free of? Whatever it is, Odel Mangel to completely take it out of your life. That Dogoji, there was 10 leopards, 10. Only one came back and worshiped God. The other nine, they got healed and they went home. But that one said, I gotta meet the guy that healed me. Your relationship is to know the man of God, Jesus, the Son of God, that heals you. That's what you need to do. As the choir is gonna get ready to worship, you need to ask God, Divla, I want to know you. The more I'm gonna know you, the less I'm gonna develop the opposite of what we learn. Amen? Sayyid Sten Mansa, please. I pray everybody watching on the internet, everybody here, that we can respond to the Holy Spirit. That we can respond to the leading of God. God wants to set you free. Please respond to the Holy Spirit. God wants to take away the burden. He doesn't want to put more on you. Let God do it. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Break the chains, Shindeva Sokodilan Sokodan. Just the 
you for your blessing. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for the hope. Thank you for the strength. Thank you, them like Isaiah Mas and the Tute and the Chosh Shelter and the Chosh Presence, Mogoda. Thank you, them like Shidian Lanzo Yajes. Thank you, Mogodel and that your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Mogoda and that your heart. Thank you, Mogoda and that your anointing, your authority. Thank you, Deva, and that your swing to do home. I saw the penance. Amen. 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 This is the time we learn tonight about forgiveness heals the soul. Mangastu menda. Mantumaro forgiveness. Also give forgiveness. Amen. Mogoda kako sen lo kai grasa kanan deva. Make the bel sum sumetu tan Cristo. Kai da sa me boji ka chos punto kuchira ai chosta. We pray them in Jesus' name. Amen. David, come up and bless the Lord. What a worship. What a song.
Yeah. 
praise the Lord. Bazen kakoma opre. Kakoma ngo that represents. Les costato. Bruised. Pierced. Beat up. Beyond. Recognition. He gave his body for you. In return he wants your heart. Jesus, we remember your body. For everything you've done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Our salvation, our forgiveness is based on His blood being shed on that cross. Pain for us, taking my place. Jesus, vazas kakotak tai dasa me rojitute. Give him thanks, I bear. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. We have a few people that we need to pray for. Oh, Wally Mitchell. I've been to the hospital. Shavka Karosavka, Pastor Savka. He's not that good. He was on a breathing machine. We need to keep the man in prayer. We need to keep them in prayer. O del tan calaveles and la espita, ay tenerles o del kere. Also, we want to pray for Nancy. Nancy. Uh, and Nancy, Jimmy, she just went to the doctor, right? And the news, stage three cancer. Nancy loves God, I know that for sure. I wrote about Penel and the Romans, that everybody that loves him, whatever bad it is, God will turn it into good. We pray for Nancy, in the name of Jesus. Danny. Sandra Marks. Amen. We're asking God to heal her heart and to bring her back home. Sasti in Jesus' name, Mark. Rosie, Frankie Gambino's mother. Amen. Amen. We, we're going to visit them. Sastimasa Monday. Yes. George Thompson. Who? Jimmy Mason. Amen. Amen. We're asking God to continue the work. Yes. Amen. Joshua. Amen. Uh, Eric. Uh, not her exact. Where's that book? The prayer request book. Angelo? Okay. Remember the book, the black book, where we put all the prayer requests in there, that big book? Um, we got our prayer request in the beginning. And also for everybody on the internet, on Instagram, there's also prayer requests. So if we could stand, I mangaska tarodel, for this to take place now, healing. Le manuska ijante chiden on the tithes and offerings. Please have a sanglao as we finish praying. Te kirasa mano tithes. Mogodat, I pray, Lord, for all these names, all these needs, all these wants on the prayer requests. Tate, we need help. Father, anzar chovas, sastiano stato, sastiano duho, sastiano lingotrayo. Sastiar de Valengo depression. Set them free, Lord. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I saw the penas. Amen. Guys, Sayavin Angla, Le Manuska Chiden. I want to do something different. Please, Amen Karkangla. Please, get up here. Get up here. Okay. Asunen, please, everybody pay attention. 
I've been getting a lot of prayer requests regarding finances. Amen, Butibares, we do not teach about finances as much as we need to. But we want to pray tonight for people that are struggling with finances. Also, we want to pray for people that stop doing palm reading and are dedicating their lives to serve the Lord. So I thank God most for them, that God will help them and provide for them. Now, your money is your sacrifice given to God. You're not supposed to give money to bless God's house. You should want to bless God's house. You're not supposed to give one dollar, but it is your sacrifice and your worship to bless the house of God so that we could do what God has put in our hands to reach all of Hollywood, all of Los Angeles, and throughout the United States. I can often get testimonies. The DVD that we're making, what the church has done, people so far that I know of, over 500 people accepted Jesus for the first time. This is what God is doing. This is what God is doing. And we didn't give them the DVDs yet. Imagine what God is going to do. And it's only done when you bless God's house with your finances. Amen. Father, we pray on the Sogodi prayer, I see for finances. People that are not able to give, well, I pray, bless them that they could give more than their tithes. I pray, Sogodi Chida Sakana, make Tabel Chiron blessing on every person, Devla physically, Devla spiritually, Devla financially. Open the floodgates of heaven. I short Pichiro Ten. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I saw the Penas. Amen. Let's praise God. Let's praise the Lord. Spirit of the Lord goes in my heart. I will dance like a king. Can't you just hold on? The Spirit of the Lord moves in my heart.
sit down, I just need one minute of your time. I really love this church, this building. It's really blessing Los Angeles and all over. The board of this church are getting together to give us the two-year contract. Amen? Okay. And we are praying that God would give us favor. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but my prayer is that this church will be too small and we're going to have to get a bigger building. I believe it. Tesabut Romsi in Los Angeles. Tesabut Temsi. We have a lot of work to do. And I'm not going to waste time. We need to fill the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Is by so we want to pray. We want to pray for the board of this church. That God would minister to them. That God would give us favor with them. And that the rent will continue to be the same or maybe even better for us that we would gain favor, that we could take care of this church like it's our own home. Very important. De la sama, so de la Amen. By the way, we need to start parking under the parking lot. Caicillo Nordstrom Rack, under Caicillo oh, Supermarket. All that parking belongs to the church. Please, my love to Menda, try and use that parking. All of us, the servants, that's where we're parking. My love to Menda, please do that. Then I may have complaints, and so that we will be here for a long time. Amen? Well, let's stand up by Panavasa Maro service. Amen? Moda, Christo, Naisistuke, for today. You're healing Devla from depression, anxiety, fear, anger. Cho anointing mo dake to gampiamende. Devla, you are the author and the finisher. You are the alpha and the omega. What you started today, continue all week until we get together again Sunday, Thursday. Devla, I pray. Ajuti salame. Protect our eyes, protect our mind, protect our hearts. I pray this in the name of Jesus. I saw the penance. Amen. God bless you. Good night. Jean de Nessa.